Zach Zay, how are you? Happy Friday, Martin. Thank you so much. I'm very good. Good to be Zach, back. It's great to have you. I, I, I kind of missed the Friday phone-ins talking to you. We used, to, we used to have a really good time doing that, and I'm glad we're doing it again today. I can see you've got the um, the, uh, the the Martin Lucas Investor hoodie behind you, Virgin Galactic, the crystal ball, and I see you've got a spacey shirt on tonight. That looks pretty cool. Is that a space helmet? About astronauts. Astronauts. I love it. I love it. That's a moment for you. Oh, look at that. That, look at that, the anniversary. Have I got my mug? No, I haven't got, I haven't got my mug here yet. Lee hasn't brought my coffee in yet. But second anniversary, we're coming up to the third anniversary in just, uh, what, what, is it a, two months' time? Not very long yeah, now, about sort of six, six it was weeks. June 27, right? June 27th. There you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> it was, yeah, the third year. And this year is going to be extra special because we're now going to do the memberships on the extra channel and everyone can be a member on day one as a founder member. And there's going to be some really cool stuff. I'm excited about that. Uh, it's never going to never be able to happen again, right? So uh, I'm very excited with the extra channel. It gives you extra time with you following the behind the scenes Martin with the 360. The in world. It's like a, another game watching a, your a show. Yeah, thank you. I, and it's it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get. Uh, sorry for that super chat coming right over your face there. Vital just detested me a super chat. Thank you ever so much, uh, Vital. I appreciate that. So if anybody wants to uh, cover up Zach's face, that's how you do it, right? That's how you do it. I mean, it's a win for me. I get a tip and tack. Happy and, and, Friday. And, you know, happy Friday. Friday. Happy Friday. Are you gonna? Uh, are you, can you tune into the the concert tonight for a few songs? Absolutely, I uh, bit of space always, music. Uh, it's uh, the bell for the week. It's like the closing bell for the week and the opening bell for the weekend. That's right. The party. That's the way to look at it. I like that. I like that. Well, uh, Zach, it's it would never be it would never be a uh, chat to you without talking about of, of, of course space and virgin galactic cuz as, as you know you uh, are one of our biggest bulls you are uh, you're like me you're totally passionate about virgin galactic you love it you want to do it well are you happy with the management are you happy with the price right now just refresh everybody look at this this is what we're looking at right now let me go over to it um, the markets are green Everything's great in the market, but of course, Eric Kearney will go, well, we're okay in the current climate. It's okay. Well, uh, the, the current climate is up 30% this year. Virgin Galactic has just hit $1.23. Zach, talk to me How about low can it. we go? How low can we go? But uh, space, to go to space, anyone that want to buy a ticket, there is, I believe, only Virgin Galactic that you can uh, book a ticket. There is more than 800 people that book that ticket and are still waiting. If uh, I'll ask you who was on a flight from whatever company, flying company today from which city to city, every flight is full. But if I'll ask you who was the first flight ever that flew, uh, we know the Wright brothers, we know all the, uh, uh, how it starts. So here we got to start and it's not just uh, space because space brings uh, people to space, which is uh, tourism, it's exciting, it's uh, something that nobody else has and that's why I like that company. I like Unique, I like something that uh, nobody else does. I'm not talking about satellites, I'm not talking about uh, missiles or about uh, uh, rockets, uh, but all that industry is very Interesting, of course, to whoever likes space. And I watch all the space movies. There is always a, a I just had it last week, and oh my God, the moon, moonfall that they drill, the, the moon is hollow and they drill into the moon. What a, you know, there is so many a, a ways to look at the people look at space through the years from Star Trek and start war uh, and which we all love it's uh, something passionate to all but if we look at all of those companies and we know the penny stocks they're all still low under five i think the only one it's uh, 
has been spoke this lunar now that uh, NASA does take care of them with the vehicle. But if we look at Lilium or uh, MNTS or uh, CDU or a uh, Rob- uh, Rocket Lab or even uh, Archer with the vehicle, all of those are less than five or in the penny stock, all of them trying to break out. Uh, so the space industry trying to break out and to break with people like they had every month a flight. You can't make money, you can't make product without flights. So we are optimistic about the Delta. Uh, we saw yesterday, I believe we, I put it also on the Discord, I'll sue you from the Boeing company. So space suing back, boring. You, uh, Boeing, you're boring. You didn't supply what we asked from you. You fired. We don't work with laziness. So maybe we can see it in other way we demand perfection also you didn't supply what we ask you and that's why we stopped and that happened last march so it's been a year to come against this lawsuit and i believe space won't run uh, uh, by the plan you have a plan in 10 years with a million and it's i i'm showing this this is a moment i've been watching two years that was a moment and we're trying to achieve something so if anyone that, uh, and I'm always like that example, because in this market, if anyone bought Tesla when it uh, was in the low and kept buying it and then sold, of course he got a Tesla in his driveway. I, I'm sure he's a fan, he know where it's going and uh, how it will go. If I want to fly to space one day and I want that ticket to be sponsored by the stock, that's kind of my American dream. And I think it's possible, even if it will, whatever it will take. If you keep, I think when you celebrate uh, in December, when we had 1 million, uh, 1 million, um, 10,000 subscribers, you already doubled yourself in 20, more than 21. Um, and I was there. The first thing I heard from the guys is, they're not good. They're not going good. And everybody will try to drag you down, everybody. But there is, and I had 5,000 shares then, which I bought. I wouldn't fall in love also with the company if I wouldn't buy them at 32, at 34, at 40, and I sold them at 58. So I made money to know that that company had a potential. But then the corona came. And... I started my company eight years ago, I'm very busy, and I decided to drop all that matter. The corona brought me to do some, reorganize my file, and concentrate on what I really learned I like, and I think it's a good potential. So uh, investment, investor can be looked in any way, but I'm not a daily trader, so I put 200 every week, and I know it doesn't affect my bank account, and I target the money through those years toward more towards space. So, and my other investment, which I stopped, I know where I needed to stop and I put myself a limit. But I still like the day trader of uh, leaving the street. So I order with DoorDash and I go Papa John's and I go Starbucks and I still go uh, with Safeway and I leave the, I see the cars and the v- vehicles is also very big industry that you talk about. So. If we're looking at the under five, again, Nicola and Paul Stard and Lucid and, for, and, uh, uh, and uh, I like that one because I've, I saw Wins, uh, Vinfast. I've seen like 10 cars of them already, car that I haven't seen at all. And in one month, you see 10 Vinfasts. But uh, if I look at uh, Mulan or Neo or Expect, XPEV is the only one above five. All of them under five, so it's a dollar stock. It's a potential. So Fiskar, if his name, you know, Nikola Tesla was a great name to come from. If it was, I think the name does have a matter to continue. And Nikola is a great name. You need a great product. And they, or the CEO has been in jail, but the company continued. That's power of idea. So... I think companies with a good ideas, good uh, vision will win. And still to be a potential under $5 or 
to do a reverse split to get back to the five. It just, you don't want to be de deleted. So I've seen a lot of reverse split. I just went one through the last week, but it doesn't make any difference about the potential and the vision and what you know. I still like the big companies that every day I go and purchase, but I get rid slowly toward uh, my goals. It's never all in. It just keep following your dream. That's how I see it. That's wonderful. And I love your conviction to it. It's hard though, isn't it? When you see the stock going down. I mean, are you, are you happy, even though you love the product and you love the dream and you, you know, they've, they've achieved it. It works. The customers are there. The, the actual thing works. You know, they built it. It does the job. It, it works. Um, other than ramping up, we could stay with what we've got forever. I mean, we wouldn't make any money doing that. We need the Delta to be more efficient and produce more flights. But, you know, if we wanted to, we could fly this one uh, every month or so. We know that. It works. Do you not think, though, that the management could do a better job? What I mean by that is we just saw last week Levi rallying because of Beyonce do it, bringing out a video and drawing attention to the stock, making it fun and exciting, and boom, up goes the price. And it's you know, Levi is doing great right now. Virgin Galactic have celebrities ready to fly that will draw attention to it. And when I spoke to Eric Kern, he said we don't want uh, we don't want to draw attention to those people. We want everyone to be a celebrity, everyone to be a star, and all the rest of it. And I understood that. However, right now, you need a bit of publicity. And no one really cares that Fred Bloggs the Dustman is going on the flight. But they would love it if it was Elon Musk or Taylor Swift or somebody that's, you know, in the public eye. And they've got those people on the list. They could fly them tomorrow, next week. There's no... It, it just breaks my heart seeing such a great product and i say great product not a great company because it's i think the management are awful i think the product is great the need for it is there the desire is for there the customers are there and it doesn't need to be a, this shouldn't be a a, a one dollar 23 cent stock this should be at minimum above the cash value at the at minimum at least two dollars a stock which is the cash value of the on the books so at four dollars you'd have a little bit of goodwill there because of you know whatever um and 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 then and then there's you know the stock is a lot more attractive and more people would want to buy it and so on and so forth do you not think that the management are letting us letting the shareholders down and paying themselves remember in stock options it suits them that it goes down. It suits them. They love it. Now you like it when it goes down too. We all like it because you buy it cheaper. I get it. You know, if we can buy it for one cent, why not? But remember how low is too low? Because at some point they run out of money. They can't borrow money. If you're, if you're not worth anything, no one's going to, no one's gonna have any faith in it if it gets any lower, really, to be fair. Because under a dollar, it gets very, very risky indeed. It, it can then potentially be delisted. So we all agree the product is great, but do you think that management have let us down and they could do a better job? About 15 years ago, I had a penny stock worth one penny and I uh, bought about $300 that turns to $3,000 in uh, 10X. Uh, that was in uh, Florida. I think I went to the place to check what there is and there was nothing. That's why I sold because I, I saw the volume I was into it. Today, uh, into your shows, meet the CEO. I have my own company for uh, nine years and I'm running 20 to 50 projects on a con construction. I got more than 200 crews, generals, and not talking about myself running a business, you need to keep on uh, producing uh, uh, your product and you need to keep the uh, efficiency. The flights are the most important. If I look at the company in the size of an investor, the company does not does much, but there is not much to do. If I look at the uh, putting a celeb, no, because then it will be pump and hump. Uh, because if the celeb will jump it right up to 20 and then it goes to two again, that's the pump and hump. I'm looking for a solid growth, solid news and they mentioned the sixth flight last year they met, they did exactly what they planned when we did about the hollow like you could say the sleep go to sleep for a half a year 
I don't mind to go to sleep for half a year. You keep need to you need to keep us updated, and they do have only X. They, I'm 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 not expecting for a, a, the names. That doesn't matter. I'm just asking to book the flight. Show me there is a flight that book that book. Every flight become like a the the this next story, and that's the news. So because of this specific space category. It is very one to one, and that's absolutely the change or the pump and hump or the yeah. It can be a second in a penny. It can be in a hundred based on that news. I think they have a plan and they keep going with the plan. I was shocked yesterday that most of your uh, uh, viewer are not even a space holder, and I understand because it takes time. So are you in and out? And I like the game. I used to like the game. Today I'm. I like my business and my invest my uh, uh, my job, but I still keep aside and I spread it towards space because I think yes, the price is attractive, and if you buy, like I said the other time, hundred shares in two dollars, which is two hundred, or you get to a hundred and you buy in in uh, two, it's the same two hundred. So if the potential is there and the delta, it can go to thousand. So it's just a potential. But it is flying. It is a great idea, and I don't see any other company that can take me to space today. I take your point uh, when you talk about if you got a celebrity, it could pump and dump. You're absolutely right. I think that would happen. I think you're right. If we got a Tesla, if we got an Elon Musk or a, or a, a Taylor Swift on on the flight, I think everyone would buy it. See it as a real cheap option maybe $10 and it's straight back down again. And that's not good for a stock. That isn't good. Good for the traders, of course. People make money. But uh, no, people wouldn't like that. I, I agree. And I like the idea of what you're saying. St solid, stable growth is better. Um, but um, it's, just, it's just heartbreaking to see such a good company and so many people really, you know, it's the retail investors I care about, my viewers. I don't, I don't care about the institutions. I certainly don't care too much for Eric Kearney and se se several of the, the, of the board members uh, that are paying themselves all these free shares that they're getting for nothing right now. But I do care about people that like you who really care about this and to see the stock continually go down. But it's what worries me uh, is technology, and a lot of people have mentioned this, and it's w maybe why some people have sold out, is right now, and, and you started the, uh, the conversation at the beginning with me saying, no one else does this. It's, it's unique. It's proprietary. It's, it's, it's incredible. And it, re it really is. And the Delta is going to be even better. They want to go higher, I believe. They want to go further into space. All these things are going to happen. However... Are you not a little bit concerned, though, over the period of time that this has taken? Remember, it's been many, many years since we first started Virgin, many, many years. Technology is improving and we're landing on the moon and we're going to Mars. Someone's going to pop up and all of a sudden some unknown company from China is going to go, we're doing space flights tomorrow. And they'll just appear from nowhere. That, what, that worries me because people are watching and knowing the future is space and a lot of people are trying with balloons and so on. I don't think that's the way forward. But there's going to be some company all of a sudden is going to pop up with a rocket that can do exactly what Virgin Galactic can do. Does that not scare you? Uh, no. <laughs> there can be more uh, companies that can come and compete Tesla and try to do electric uh, car, but they've done it. They uh, flew to space. They, they, I think it's... The most exciting ride, I still think if anyone that will go up there will bring the experience. And as a matter of fact, the Delta will have two, three, four flights a month, uh, maybe two Deltas, maybe double the... And again, there, when there is a lot of flights, you don't know, you don't care who is the six people in there. You know, it's, it's a business. Now, it's very concerning when uh, Richard left, of course, it's uh, the... The main people that brought that interest uh, are gone, everybody, but the idea and the technology and the facility and the ability to upgrade is there. The mine, I think, is also there. 
I'm not disrespecting uh, anyone that works with that company. If he still worked there, because they fired a lot and they did uh, listen to the petition and did cut some workers last year and this, uh, so they did it twice. And I think uh, a spread in uh, California, in New Mexico, and in Mexico, it's uh, in um, Arizona, sorry, it is cost. It's a cost. There is a lot, a lot of money that goes every day to the people uh, who are working there. Once I was at the facility in New Mexico, there was no workers. There were a few inside. Of course, there is uh, always somebody, but uh, it was almost empty at all. It was like my place. It was joy. But I'm sure when the people and the flights are coming and we could see it, the place is uh, energy of levels that uh, even to look at it, people, your viewer going to Kennedy, watching, following. I love that channel because you did brought the space fans. Each one of your subscribers and each one of your uh, does have an interest with all those uh, unique uh, categories and uh, subjects we're talking about. So it does touch each of us. I drive a lot, so I listen to you and it's very interesting to see how every time it comes from a different uh, direction and you bring it into, okay, uh, uh, it, it, nobody's insane here. We just keep it uh, as it is. Those are the news and I love, uh, once again, it's uh, not just to be a, a member and a, and a viewer, I, I just love to share even wherever I go. It's like, that's entertainment. That's uh, something that once you enjoy or it's benefit yourself. I live to enjoy myself and enjoy the, the, the things that makes me happy. So thank you for that. If space will make me happy, they will make me happy. If not, it's a good uh, way of keeping uh, following. I don't need any penny of the shares or everything that has been invested is uh, aside and just a future plan for uh, none of that needed right now. And I'm sorry if people uh, did put their money on a high cost and, you know, I know my mom, I'm holding forever. She's holding from such a high price. She never bought again, but yeah, it will come back. She's holding, holding. And I'm, I'm like, it's okay to sell sometimes, you know, but uh, that's again, if you're a fan, if you really search and like some company and you're buying it, keep holding and keep it. That's uh, keep follow Martin. He will give you the news and, it's just right there. So I, I enjoy, I enjoyed that. Thank you, Zach. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. I've missed the Friday phone-ins. We should, uh, we should start doing it again. It's, it's always good. It's open to everyone. Oh, any of our members can join in and be part of the conversation with Zach and myself. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hope to do this again, uh, Zach. We're yeah, at one Mike, I miss Mike and Stephen. And yes. Got, uh, Mr. Bond is amazing also. And Ed, <laughs> oh my God. And, we are, it's like any, everyone that uh, comes in just brings so much knowledge, so much fun. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, about 12 hours from here to there. So now we double the fun, you're saying, huh? We double the fun. We, uh, we have 299 monthly last year, and now it will be for the other 299 too, the same as uh, to, to be a, a member, right? For the extra. I the extra, I'm going to do it for 99 cents. <laughs> I know. I remember. I remember. <laughs> the, the idea of it is I just want to help people as much as possible, you know? And uh, anyway, it's, it's, I'm always looking at it, how it can benefit the members the most. And... Uh, the passion for the channel now is so, uh, and, and the members are so dedicated to the show and they watch every day, all day, but many have just joined last month, last week, a year ago. You know, not everyone can be a founder member. They weren't all here at the beginning. However, with the extra channel, we've got that one moment in history when we can 
start it all together at the same time. So I want everyone to be a member. So 99 cents, everyone can be a member and everyone can join on the same day. So every time it goes to a month or a six months or a year, we all do it together. So in 10 years from now, everybody will be a 10 year member together. Apart from, of course, those that join afterwards, but we're trying to bring all the founder members, the people that built the whole thing, the opportunity to be there on day one for 99 cents. I don't know how to do it any better than that but uh yeah Amazing. I mean, less than 12 dollars a year i know wow. maybe maybe i should charge more <laughs> it's a business I, I know the thing is when you look at it when you sit down and think about it right there are you know imagine if you have a thousand members right and it's a it's a it's 99 cents right that's that's like a thousand bucks a month but if you make it one dollar more it's nothing to the individual, but it's $2,000 a month to me. It's right, but that's thinking about me. And the channel has done what it's done because it thinks about the people. It's very easy to go, well, hang on a minute. It's only a dollar more. And now I've got $2,000 a month. <laughs> no, the idea is think about the people. Because I think that, you know, if we get a million members, you know, it's a million bucks a month, right? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, hang on a minute. I could have two million. No, it's, I, I want it to be about what's best for the members. So, uh, but to don't, don't tempt me too much because I might change my mind. <laughs> uh, that's right. I got something, a uh, story you had about the guy that will come and knock on your door with electric uh, tools to do your yard or with the gas. Oh, tools yeah. To do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a I have a comment. I uh, as you know, I came December to Texas to uh, my in-laws, and taking care of their yard brought me into uh, two different machines. One was the electric uh, uh, blower, and one is the uh, uh, on fuel blower. So I'm starting with the, of course the power, and I'm listening to Martin, and I'm going for about ten minutes. And I did bought the best battery and I did bought the best uh, condition, but the yard is huge. 10 minutes, I can see one point down. 20 minutes, I'm out. Wait a second, 20 minutes, I got like, charge it? Okay, charge it. So I'm charging, sitting, relaxing, meanwhile taking the fuel one. Work, 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 finesse, finesse, power. <sighs> The sense of the fuel burning and the 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 finesse, the corners, the edges, the the electric glow fast. Right? So the battery charges, and I'm going another ten minutes. The battery, okay, and then twenty minutes, it's gone. Wait a second. Let's go buy another battery. All right, I'm going buy another battery, just like my workers. They got charges all over. Just replace it, yeah. Batteries all over. That's how I remember my job. So I'm doing it myself to my in-laws. I'll do, I'm getting my another battery. I'm working on two large batteries. So I got 20 minutes, recharge 20 minutes, five hours, five hours. And I love the five hours cause that's the finesse, the beauty the artistic uh, touch that makes the yard look out of this world. <laughs> so hybrid. I think that's the hybrid. Again, experience. You got to have both. Yeah. A lot of people now, are, there's, a, there's a big debate now isn't there that uh, is EVs really going to be the future? There's uh, we're starting to see Ford. Ford are not doing EVs anymore, um, right. and uh, people are starting to look towards maybe hydrogen. Look at what Nikola are doing. Uh, do you think that um, EVs, electric electric battery cars, are an, an electric power is the future, or there'll be something else? What do you think? Once I look, uh, living in California, once I look uh, about this uh, 15 years ago, everything Toyota Prius, I think everywhere, Toyota Prius brought the first idea of the hybrid. They were really big success. I, uh, I, I said it uh, not as a commercial or making anyone happy or for these companies, but I do own Toyota forever. 
And it does give me uh, basically six years with 300,000 miles. It's been like for nine, uh, for three times, it's about 18 years that I'm going six years uh, with 300,000 miles and then the engine died. So it gives me the benefit of what I need, which I drive a lot, yes. And uh, uh, when I look uh, again into the EV and all the, it's a, it's a change, it's a difference. It will come back, it will come in, but hybrid is kind of, again, I feel the mix is, is kind of keeping balance between those two worlds. It's not, no, I'm not left, I'm not right, I'm in the center, I'm kind of, I, I like both sides. Um, yeah. Can I just uh, talk to one of our members just a moment? Am I right in saying Ed Nevius has just experienced an earthquake under his house can I just confirm that? Um, it seems like Ed Nevius may have experienced an earthquake. The shop shook and my wife said whole house was shaking. Uh, he's still with us. So obviously, he's he's here and he's got internet and uh, that's obviously good. But uh, can I just confirm, Ed, are you okay? Have you, have you just experienced uh, an earthquake in your house? Uh, I'll just stay with uh, just... I want you to come back to me. Um, that's always scary to hear. We had a, we had a, Zach, you were going to say something then. With the reason I'm here in California, the earthquake place, the world is shaking. And we, we, we got to get better. The well, the thing is, be Zach, I think, I often think about this and I think people often, often uh, forget how vulnerable and fragile life really is. And I often think of this, when you, it's all perspective. If you're a fly, a tiny little fly, the world seems very different to you. Uh, if you're a human, it seems like this. If you're a massive super giant, like a mile high, the world seems a different place, right? It's all about perspective. And the, re the but the reality is us little tiny humans, we live on a tiny, tiny wafer of a safe zone, right? If the world spun like 1% faster, we'd all be crushed. 1% slower, we'd all zip off into space. And if you look at the space, because I know you love space, and I do too, my godfather was Kenny Baker R2-D2, as you know, at Star Wars. If you look at space and it goes on forever and ever and ever, there's only this tiny, tiny, tiny wafer thin level of where humans can exist. And that's not just going outwards into space. It's going into the ground too, because basically we're a giant burning ball of lava in underneath the planet, underneath our house. If you dig down a long way down, you're going to find a big ball of molten lava. And we're all sat on top of that. So we're literally underneath the planets that could come and smash you and crush you. Or we're about to get set on fire because we're sat on a bloody great ball of gas. So it's quite a miracle, really, when you think we're actually here and I'm talking to you today. Because one slight little alteration in that whole ecosystem and we're, we're not here anymore. What do you make of that? <laughs> Um, I think everybody make mistakes. Everybody does uh, do uh, uh, like uh, with experience. We, we don't, we never get old, we get experience. So it's not problem to make mistake. The most important is to fix and correct your mistake as fast as you can. So it's not like we're driving and after five hours, oh, it's a mistake, let's turn around. It's like after one minute, let's turn around. So you didn't waste 10 hours US 20, that's where I see the things, as you mentioned, double them up once you're in a good path and uh, you can get the feedback back. And this is a, a very interesting world to live with because the people are uh, having hopes and expectation and one small mistake can cost the bridge in uh, Baltimore, which I used to live in Maryland is catastrophe. When the earth make mistake and uh, we get earthquakes and uh, tsunamis and it's, it's, it's terrible. The people are so horrible and there is nothing you can do. All the big minds and I love some even uh, 
people that gone in a matter of very, very, you bring the songs for them and it's very sad. You cause me crying with your mo songs for so many times. It's like very emotionally attached when you really like something and he's gone from this world. You, uh, I think yesterday uh, also one of the viewers said, his grandpa said that space is the place between your ears. <laughs> and it's very interesting because I've been thinking about, you know, about that, that it's the brain. But, you know, then I talk to my wife and she tells me, you know, it means that you are stupid or dumb, sorry, because there is nothing, the space. So yes. you can see things in different way. I see it, wow, the space is the, between your ears. This is the smartest place, the, the, my brain. <laughs> then, no, you don't. Yeah. It's space, that it's nothing. Zach, it's always a pleasure talking to you, having you on the show. Uh, Seth Houston just said, yes, I just felt it. Uh, Seth Houston has just felt the earthquake. Um, uh, Salty Biscuit, uh, wow, yeah, I wonder if that's part of the new Madrid. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, Seth... Uh, Seth said, "For all religious people here, if you are, if you're, if you are all this bad going on in the world, will soon change. I believe after the um, the eclipse, evident will start turning for the better for humanity. I don't know why. Let me just tell you a little bit about that. It, on Monday, the eclipse, uh, the the um, the." Uh, uh, what was it called? The channel, the track of totality. What is it called? The something, whatever. <laughs> the track, the channel, whatever it is. Totality will pass over my house, right over where I am now in Dallas, moon which is eclipse, great. Moon eclipse will show you the ring. Yes. I want to see that yes. ring shining, the yes. diamond ring. Wow. Let me, let, let me, let me tell you, because I've experienced it once before. It happens a lot different parts of the world, but it's very rarely it happens over your house. So, you know, you're in totality, right? But it happens all, all happens, you know, every, every few years in different parts of the world. I experienced it in England uh, about 10, 10, 15 years, 20 years ago. And uh, it's over very, very quickly. So I want to say something really great about it, but I also want to just put it in, I, I want to just calm everyone down a little bit as well. It's an amazing experience. If you get the chance to experience it, you really want to, but don't believe what the media are saying, that your whole area is going to come to a standstill because they're trying to sell T-shirts, they're trying to sell TV, they're trying to sell hotels. The news wants to report on it, which is, of course, they, they, they're just constantly selling the news. It, 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 it does get a bit of a frenzy. People get a bit overexcited, even though you should get excited. The media try to cash in on it. Uh, and it's why I'm not going to be going live for the eclipse on Monday. I'm going to be live, but it's not going to be an eclipse show. I'm not going to try and cash in on it. We're going to do what we do here. But let me tell you, uh, taking the hype out of it, it is brilliant. You want to experience it. And what happens, What I, what I for me, the, the best part is... You see how nature is connected to the sun and the moon and the whole thing, right? And what I mean by that is it's not too many people are focused on. It's about uh, seeing the sun go behind the moon and it goes dark. Well, that's true. And you do get that and you do get the ring and you do get the diamond ring and you get all that. That's great. But it's what actually happens to nature and the planet while that's occurring is what's amazing. And what happens is, and this is coming from experience because I've lived through it and actually had it happen to me, um, is as, as the moon crosses the sun and it goes dark, it goes dark in a, in a way you've never experienced before. Okay. Cause you've never, if you've not experienced this, it's not a normal daily occurrence. Okay. All of a sudden nature the, the animals, the plants, the insects, the birds, and the fish think it's nighttime. They're not like us. They, they, don't, they don't go, oh, it's a solar eclipse. I'll just carry on, right? They think it's nighttime. And what happens if you're outside in a woods or a field or in nature, which is where I watched it, you see 
the animals go and start to go to sleep. You see birds going into their nests and and and, and roosting, and then they and then when it's over, they all come back out again. You see nature reboot. You see nature shut down. And I remember because I, a bird flew into a hedge and it crashed into my head. It got all excited. It didn't. It didn't know what was going on. It went to sleep, then it woke up again, and it it came out of a tree and it bashed into my head. Anyway, I remember that, but. Um, it's over very, very quickly. People get like, oh, was that it? It's very, very quick. It doesn't last very long for the actual main moment. But it, if you can be in a place where you can experience nature, you will see that animals and all these things go to sleep and wake back up again. That's one thing. And the other thing is try and get where you can see the land few miles away, like on a hill or somewhere. Because what you'll experience then and this is really like sci- sci-fi and Star Wars, and you'll like this, sack. is you'll see the shadow of the moon racing across the planet at 2,000 miles an hour. But you need to be on a hill, and you need to be able to see, like, land like, a few miles ahead because it's you've got to see it move. And what you'll see is a shadow, like you see shadows of the clouds, you know, when you see a shadow on a, you know, you see a shadow on, on the ground of a cloud, right? You will see a, a line go vroom across the ground. You'll see the moon's shadow and it will give you an, it will give you uh, the, the experience of how small you are and how big the planet is. Even it's, even though the moon isn't that big compared to the giant planets, it will give you an impression of, Bloody hell, I'm part of something really big because you'll see the shadow of the moon go zipping across the ground. But you only experience that if you're up looking ac- and you can see the land in front of you to experience that. Otherwise, you're already in it and you don't see it. But uh, that's a... I won't that's be a- able to experience it in the California, but if any one of your member and you know, you give us a stage to express and be on your show. So if anyone does have ability to take video, maybe on this one... It- I would love to see any anyone that in that line to publish or show it even on this a few minutes after, you know, just to capture the moment. I, yeah. I'm sure we're going to see a lot on YouTube and absolutely later Oh, of on. course. Yes, uh, of course. Every angle, be. but live yeah. and a few minutes after, it's like, it's exciting. I love those moments. Yeah, we'll it leave. really, it, it, it's really worth experiencing. Uh, and uh, what we're, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the opening bell as as normal uh, on Monday, uh, but the closing bell won't happen because the closing bell is at the time it's happening. Uh, I think the closing. Oh, I beg your pardon. The closing bell, I think we'll just go like a, a little bit later or whatever. Um, but um, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to go, be going out in the garden with Leah, my wife, and we're going to watch it. Um, she's never seen it before, but I've seen it. Um, and don't get to, also, don't get too, don't get too, um, ex- I shouldn't probably say this because people will go, that's not very responsible. Everybody knows you can't look at the sun because if you've ever tried to look at the sun, I mean, people keep saying, don't look at the sun, right? You need glasses. You can't look at the sun. Have you ever tried looking at the sun? You you, you blink and look away. You, you can't do it, right? Have you? <laughs> it's impossible, Zach. You can't do it. You can't do it. Yeah, I, I like my sunglasses. You know, you can't like do it. So, do, so no. everyone's trying to. Everyone's selling these glasses so you can look at the sun. A lot of people are making a lot of money out of these glasses, which aren't that good, by the way. You don't have to have the glasses to experience the eclipse. I didn't have the glasses, and I could see it because when it when it eclipses and the, and the little diamond ring comes, you can look at that. You can see that with your naked eye. There's no problem. It also makes your rings. It also gives you wrinkles. Hey, but you know what, Zach? The wrinkles aren't a problem. Those wrinkles round your eyes, they are the stories of your history. They are. Mm-hmm. If you don't have any lines, you've got nothing to tell anybody. If you've got lines around your eyes, we call them crow's feet in England, right? It means you've got history. You've got stories to tell. You so want you lines on your in, face. You can read in your eyes like you can read in your uh, hands. That's right. That's right. More lines, the better. It means you've done stuff. It means you've walked a thousand miles. It means you've wore your shoes out. You don't want a perfect face all wrapped up in cotton wool. It should be haggard and busted by the time you die. (laughs) Because then you've used it. I love it. Then you've used it, right? Anyway, Zach, it's always a pleasure talking to you. 
Thanks for calling in, mate. Love you to bits. Happy Friday. Very great to be with you. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't meet you when you came to Dallas that long, that last time. Uh, I, I would like to meet you at some point. Uh, 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 so if you, get, if you get come again, I'll, you know, I, I would love to meet you. It was a French restaurant. Phenomenal. Every December. I missed out. I missed indoors, out. We do it for a few years. It's like a, a whole month. And hopefully, the, yeah, this year, every year. Well, that's, I, I, hope it, I, I would love it. For those of you who don't know, Zach called me up and says, I'm going to be in your neck of the woods in Dallas, down your way. Uh, I'm, I, I want to take you to a restaurant and buy you a nice tomahawk, st tomahawk steak. Can you imagine it? The bet. Oh, oh, I was like, oh my God. And I never got the chance to go, but I, I will. It will happen. So get ready for that. <laughs> I have a, I still have a picture of the tomahawk too. Oh. I, I didn't give up the tomahawk. I had the tomahawk. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Zach, thanks for calling in. Take care of yourself, You're mate. Welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much for your show. Pleasure. Bye bye. There was Zach Zate once again calling in on a Friday phone in. Absolutely fantastic. Always love talking to Zach. And uh, it's great to see his passion for Virgin Galactic as well. Staying there, he's not giving up. I love it.